Hey everyone, I'm back again with another fan. This time I picked up from Restore today uh, a Casablanca Panama 5 with IntelliTouch, specifically with a W11 IntelliTouch. Now I've seen another Panama at a different Restore with a W32, but it was a little much. But this one was such a good deal, I couldn't pass this one up. Plus it came with a W11 IntelliTouch. And this light kit, which is a unique type of light kit. And also, what's really another cool, interesting thing about this is the hang true. If you, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, the, see that little clip up in there? The ball is a little more recessed. Well, that's because Casablanca, I believe it was the 80s, the early era of the hang trues, of the hang true system, there was a recall, from what I was told, a recall where the ball was actually slipping out of the canopy, causing the fan to fall out off the ceiling. So what Casablanca did was recall their hang trues. Any fan that was sold with a hang true, they recalled and uh, gave people a uh, clip, like a pinned or more like a little plate clip that goes, an adapter that goes above the ball, or actually it's below the ball, so that the ball has a smaller... Uh, space to sit in so that it doesn't slip through that hang true. Now I, when I was at Dan Spiffy Newman's and I was helping him test a uh, New Orleans, I actually had an accident and we found out that it had. It was one of the recalled hang trues when I hung it and pushed it to tighten the hang true screw. The, the ball slipped right out of the out of the canopy and I went down with it because I still was grabbing it while on the ladder and I went down with it. And we realized that it was one of the recalled hang trues. So anyways, now I have the IntelliTouch on the rig in place of the decade box. As you can see, I do not have the decade box because this is the only fan tonight and we cannot do decade box or solid state since this has a um, motherboard, circuit board in it that controls everything. It's a computer type board and that it would fry it out. So we got here power, fan, and light. Now there's no reverse switch so you hit fan and light together to get reverse. So I'm going to turn on the power. This is just a rocker switch. Um, turn on the power and it draws a little bit of current just because it's going through it. So point 0 0.05 amps is what it's actually drawing. Now the light has a dimmer. I could either, if we push and release, push and release, I get full brightness of the light. I'm going to turn off the lights just to see. Yeah, this is similar to a, like a kitchen light, so I think this would actually give off enough light. All right, so... And the light is drawing 1.04 amps. It's flopping between 1.03 and 1.04. If I turn the light, just push and release. It's off. I'm going to push and hold the light. Dim. 7.6. I'm watching the meter. And when it gets full brightness, I can tell on the amp meter where it's not brightening anymore. It's at its full brightness, so you push and hold. It starts off at its dimmest position, its dimmest setting, so turn off the light. Now I'm going to see if this does demo mode. I don't know if this one does. Okay. Okay, I did. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay. All right, so without, I, can, I don't know if I can get this one. This is the W11. I know W32s, you can do it, but I'm gonna I'm just going to go through the fan. 
Okay, that's low. That's its first speed. And it's drawing 0.18 amps. So this has got a very slow low. It's beautiful low. Low speed. Next speed, this is a six speed setting. So 0.27 amps. A little more functional. Three. 0.39 amps. Up, oh, flop into 0.4 amps. Four. Plays a musical scale. And 0.56 at uh, your speed five, 0.67. And 0.86 amps for high. And of course, it's moving the same amount of air as any Casablanca would or Emerson. It's a K55 motor. Most of you know that. And I already uh, know what a K55 motor does. So I'm going to do a spin down. <laughs> yep, do spin down, and I'm going to run it in reverse once it's done spinning down. And um, I want to see if uh, this one I want to have available initially for a local install. Whether I decide to install it anywhere or uh, maybe somebody like my brother or a friend, I would be happy to install it. I'd be happy to install this. Control would go with this fan. That's one thing I do. A lot of times at ReStores, they'll sell the fan, but the control won't be with it, and these controls are specific. Okay, it's a long spin down, so yeah, it's good fan, good bearings. Jeez, this is a long spin down. Forgetting Casablancas, they're such good fans. We all know that. Jeez, this is such a long spin down. Okay, now I'm going to do reverse. Mm. Okay. All right. Yeah. I couldn't get it to start on low. I had to power it off, power it back on. So here's low, I'm doing the speeds again in reverse. So again, point, point 0.18, point 0.27, point 0.27, same speeds, same current draw as forward. Three with point 0.4, it's flopping between point 0.39 and point 0.4, just like in forward. Four point five seven five point seven speed six on high 
0.89, same speed as uh, same speed as uh, forward. So, so just to show you, to reverse, you hit both light and fan together at the same time. Okay, now just to show you how it reverses back. Just like that. So you have to have it running when, when it's in reverse or when, to reverse it, so. Huh. I think the current draw was slightly less on forward high, so 0.86, so maybe it's just the way the blades are. But other than that, here it goes. That is all I have for this uh, Casablanca Panama 5 with IntelliTouch, specifically with the W11 IntelliTouch. And I'll see you next time with another fan. Thanks for watching.